hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Biola party heaven guys finally i have been able to like make this baby grow or baby outfit or you know whatever you guys call it in a bubble balloon i had to make it for you guys had to show you guys how it's done as always anyway guys if you're new to my channel please remember to subscribe share this video drop a comment i am open to suggestions whatever you would like to know let me know in the comment section so for this design you need a bobo balloon bobo balloon is the best option for this um and so also you could use the amscan clairs now you need a stick so you could use a dowel a wooden dowel or you know um a magazine two cup so what i did was i cut it into half just what would fit into the shoulder area you can see i stuck into the shoulder area and then i took my fishing line i tied it to where the stick is in the middle and i also tried to stick the stick into the label part then i took a ribbon and i tied it over the fishing line the reason why i've done this is so that the fishing line would not come off while i am trying to push the baby grow into the balloon so you need to make sure your fishing line is properly secured so after i did that i then took my new glue dash i stuck it to where the ribbon is and to where the stick is so and then to the fishing line so everything stays in place and there's no movement while i'm putting the balloon inside then you roll it up see i've just rolled it up ready to be stuck into the balloon another thing you need to remember is try and not cut off the fishing line from the main attachment part do not cut it make sure you leave it um you let it stay on the roll and then when you're done with doing the bobo you can now cut it off this is so that you don't lose your fishing line and you know you are able to like survive that pushing in the balloon into the sorry pushing the baby grow into the balloon another thing you need to do before you put the baby grow into the balloon you need to stretch your balloon now stretching it just pre-inflate or pull it and you have your stretched balloon now this tool i'm about to use is called a castrating tool you would have if you are not new to my channel you would have seen me talk about this a couple of times i use it when i want to stuff anything into a balloon it helps me expand the neck of any balloon especially latex if you want to push something into a latex just use you know you need to get one of this you can find it on ebay and i think i have one in my amazon store it's called a castrating tool they use it for, I think it's for castrating it, obviously. <laughs> anyway, but balloon people have found a way to use it. So after you expand the neck, just push in the baby outfit, the shoes or whatever you want to push in. And, you know, it's inside the balloon. So you don't have to cut. So this is something that is less stressful because some of us would struggle with when we cut the bobo balloon and we want to seal it back with a heat sealer it might be kind of like tricky but once you get a hang of this this uh, method i'm sure you'll be fine doing it just practice 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 and you would perfect it remember make sure the stick is well secured make sure your fishing line is hanging out and once you're done with that just inflate so you can see i'm inflating my balloon now making sure my fishing line is still hanging out so also you need to straighten your you know your baby outfit inside the balloon which is kind of like a bit tricky when you're you know because obviously the baby grow is not as is is big i can't say it's bigger but like it can you can't really expand it in a balloon that is not inflated yet so after straightening it what i did next was i inflated it another pro tip guys if you're not good with making ribbons like myself i am not so good at making ribbons just buy a ready-made ribbon and attach it yeah so if you don't like the look of my ribbon sorry i apologize i'm not good at it now to tie it off you need a 260 q 
260 Q balloon. That's what you use. And you make sure you twist the neck of the bobo first. And then you take your 260 Q and you wrap it round several times, like I've done in the video. And then you tie off. As you can see, I've tied it up securely. This tying method is very important. This would help your balloon last a very long time. Another thing I did after tying was I then tied a knot into the balloon itself just so you know it doesn't go down quickly and trust me this did not go down in days and another thing i noticed is my baby grow is so rumpled so make sure when you're putting any new outfit into the balloon and you're going to be using this method make sure you it's a fabric that is that doesn't need ironing non-iron kind of fabric i'm sure that would survive the pushing in into the balloon once i tied off my balloon i tied it again just for extra security i like to like double tie my balloon very important because you don't want your balloon going down too early clients want their bubbles to last for days and if you're doing this for your family member or for yourself you would want this to last for days. So make sure you perfect the tying. Use a 260 Q, tie multiple times, and you are good to go. Now for the base, you could use a 260 Q for the base, or you could you use a hat box like most people do. I am just using a 260 Q for the base in this one since it's a tutorial. Once you've inflated your 260 Q, use your glue dash to secure the balloon onto the 260q and you have a simple elegant balloon gift another thing i did was i took a ribbon and i tied it over to make it look like a hot hair kind of design and that was it guys if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please subscribe share this video drop a comment if you're just coming across this video make sure you drop a comment Drop a comment, drop a comment, subscribe, drop a comment, like the video. Please help my channel grow. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I enjoyed creating it definitely. And I'll see you same time next week. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.